Good morning! I've got a question for you this week. How are you feeling? How are you feeling with life? How are you feeling with your relationships? How are you feeling with your money, your finances? How are you feeling with your career? How are you feeling about it? Because your emotions are everything. So your emotions, and that's what I want to talk about this week, because the rest of the stuff comes later. The rest of the stuff comes after. Here's what I mean. How you're feeling right now, and yesterday, and the day before, is actually bringing what you want or what you don't want to you. The way you feel is like a message going out to the universe. The way you feel is sending a message out to the universe saying, bring this to me. So if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling worried, if you're feeling angry with someone, if you're feeling unsure about your future, you're gonna be bringing more of that stuff to you. You're gonna be bringing, if you're looking at what you haven't got right now or what you should have and what you don't have, and this isn't right and that isn't right, you're gonna be bringing stuff to you that you're not gonna be happy with. Here's an example, here's an example. Ace Bucken, for those of you who follow surfing, Ace Bucken just won the Chopu competition, the Billabong Pro. He just won it. He hasn't won a competition for five years. One of those, he hasn't won one of those surfing comps for five years. When he was surfing, from one of the first heats, the commentators were saying, this guy's in rhythm. This guy is surfing way better than the others. He, built, he beat Kelly Slater in the last semi-final. Oh, sorry, in the final. He beat Kelly Slater in the final. Now, Kelly Slater is considered one of the best surfers in the world, but Ace Bucken was in rhythm. You could see it in his eyes. You could see how he surfed. He was picking the better waves. He was surfing better. He was, he was centered. You could see it. The commentators were even talking about it right the way through the whole contest. They were saying, Ace Bucken is in flow. And here's the thing. Here's why I want to talk about emotions. How you're feeling right now is an indicator of what's coming to your life. The people who mastered anything in this life, we just talked about Kelly Slater, we've talked about Steve Jobs, we talked about Oprah, but you think about someone who you look up to, you think about someone who you follow, you think about people who are achieving success, think about how they are. Think about how they are, how you see them. Are they certain? Are they feeling good with life? Are they having fun? Are they confident? Are they confident with their abilities? Are they trusting? in the universe and in, the, and in themselves that things are going to be good? Do they know that results are going to come to them? Do they know? Are they sure? Are they aligned with the flow of the universe? With the flow of this energy on earth? Are they just, do they just seem to walk through life and attract results to themselves? That happens because they create it. That happens because they feel it. They feel it in here. If you're worried, if you're anxious, if you're uncertain, you're only going to get things that are similar, that are similar to that vibration, to that energy set point. Think about one of your friends that complains all the time about a husband, that complains all the time about bills, that, compl that complains all the time about money. They never have money because money can't find them. The vibration, the energy of what you want is vastly different to the vibration of not having it. Vastly different. You've got to first create the energy inside you, the feeling inside you of having it, then it will come. Then it will come. And it will come in such flow and abundance. You too can beat the world champion just like Ace Bucken did. Just like Ace Bucken did. Because he created that competition way before he surfed it way before he surfed it. And this is the key to creating what you want. The key to creating what you want is the, the, the things that you do today. The things that you do today is creating tomorrow and the next day and the next day. If you complain about your energy bills constantly to you, to your friends, to your husband, to your people around you, how expensive they are, 
you're gonna keep getting stuff like that. I'm not saying that that's gonna make you use less energy, use less electricity, I mean. But if you keep complaining about stuff, complaining about things that aren't right, complaining that the market's not right if you're in real estate, that the, complaining that there's not enough stock, I hear it all the time. If you keep complaining about this stuff, whinging, anxious, uncertain, unsure, fearful, you are gonna just keep living that experience over and over and over again and results just won't find you at the level that you want. But when you focus on things and you, when you make decisions or when you get feeling about things that are feeling good to you, relax, relax. Look at the people who do really well in anything. Roger Federer, I don't know if you like Tiger Woods, but Tiger Woods, Donald Trump, Warren Buffett. I'm sure Warren Buffett doesn't get up every day and concerned that all his money's gonna go. No, he knows, he made a decision long ago. He knows that he's gonna be wealthy. That's how wealth found him. He just knew it was gonna come. Here's something really interesting I read about Warren Buffett and wealth. When he got to $200,000 of net worth, $200,000 of net worth, he made a decision that that was enough for him. He made a decision that that was enough. He didn't need any more. But he wanted to learn the art of creating wealth. That's what he's about. And look at where he is. It's one of the richest guys in the world. But long ago, he got comfortable with what he already had. And there's something in that. If you're not living the life that you want right now, something's got to change. Something has to change. And it comes from here. Gandhi said, be, be the change, be, first be the change that you want to see in the world. First be the change that you want to see in the world. If you want different results at work and you're in real estate, and I know a lot of you that watch this are in real estate, if you're in real estate or you're in business, focus on the things that you can do, not the things you can't control, like the market. But you can control your proactivity in the day. If you own your own business, focus on taking care of each person one by one and making them say wow. Make them say wow, that was the most amazing service experience I've ever had. And you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna have so many clients, you don't know what to do with them. Then the rest will follow. Stop complaining about life. Stop complaining about things that aren't right. Stop trying to get other people to make you happy because you can't, you can't. You can only make you happy, you. And if you make a decision to live life differently and you go on a journey to understand that there's more to life than things that are out there, it's things that in, are in here and your emotions are an indicator of what's coming. Anywhere down the bottom of the emotional scale like anxiousness, fear, worry, concern, uncertainty, that's gonna be bringing things you don't want to you. But when you're living in a space of optimism, optimism, certain, certainty, <laughs> let's start again, optimism, certainty, knowing, alignment, feeling good, happy, Easy, ease, ease, ease. If you've been arguing with someone, pick up the phone and just say, hey, let's just, sorry about that. Let's just get on with life and let's enjoy it. Let it go, let it go. You're the one getting damaged from it, not them. If something's not right in your life, fix it. Let it go, let it go. Enjoy what's already here. And if you don't have enough money right now and you want more money to come to you, Start enjoying stuff that costs nothing. That costs nothing, this costs nothing. Look how amazing it is. It costs nothing. And you can feel so good each day on things that don't even cost much. And when you're, and when you're focused on stuff that you already have, more stuff that you want will come to you. That's basically how easy it is. Then, here's the key. Here's the key to this. When you're feeling that alignment and feeling good about things that are going right and it's how life good is already, how, how already, how right now you're feeling things that are going right in your life, you're gonna be inspired to take action to do other things 
they're gonna create more and you're gonna be in the flow. And that's exactly what Ace Bucken did. He put himself in the flow way before that competition. And if you want yourself to be in the flow for the future and things to come to you in truckloads and in so much abundance that you don't know how to handle it all, if you want that, you first gotta put yourself there. Get in the flow today. Make a decision that you're not prepared to settle for anything that doesn't feel good anymore. And if you do go there, you can move yourself off that easily. And if you make that commitment and you slowly and surely go out and be the change that you wanna see in the world, feel good about things that you already have, so much good is gonna to come to you. So much stuff is gonna to come to you. And you're gonna be living the life that you want plus more. You're gonna be living so much success and abundance. You're gonna find it pretty cool, I reckon. And we're all on that journey together. So let's get to it. Let's make that, that week, let's make this week amazing. Let's just feel good and enjoy it along the way. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.